Speaker number three, Mel Hadley. <laughs> Effective dialogue requires both speaking clearly and listening effectively. How is our country doing right now? And what, if anything, needs to be done nationally? Effective dialogue requires both speaking clearly and listening effectively. How is our country doing right now? And what, if anything, needs to be done nationally? Mel Hadley. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most honored guests, greatest country in the world. Agree? Yes. Yeah. What was that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's an example of communication. I was asking a question, and you were answering it, and we were communicating. Is that happening all around the country? No. <laughs> Sometimes. And is the message that's attempting to be shared actually being received? That's what we're really not sure about a lot of times. At least I'm not. As, as a citizen, I try to do my due diligence. I listen to the news. I listen to actual speeches, not just the little tidbits that you get on the five-second news blips. And I really try to listen. As Toastmasters, we're trained to listen. Do we apply that training? When we listen to speeches, whether they're politicians running for office, people that are currently in office, people that are bad-mouthing the people in office, <laughs> are we listening? I'm not sure. I try to. I think most of us as Toastmasters are now trained to, so I'm not sure we couldn't if we wanted to not listen. <laughs> How many uhs and ums do we hear? <laughs> I think we do. What can we do to make that a broader scope? How can we get more people to really listen to what's being said? Join Toastmaster? <laughs> By all means, get your clubs blossoming. Share what you can. And try to share not only what you hear, but you know the audience. You know the people you talk to. What can you say to them to reconvey the messages that you hear so that everybody understands? That's my challenge to you. As Toastmasters, you're good listeners. Take what you hear and reconvey it to other people who aren't necessarily as trained and get all kinds of weird spins on things. They didn't really say that. And tell them what you heard. I think that's how we as Toastmasters can take some ownership for the messages we hear and make the communication actually work in this country. Thank you. <laughs>